Uh, this is a uh, homemade underwater propulsion system. It's been made out of a uh, 12 inch pipe, reduced down to a 6 inch pipe with a reducer back to a 12 inch pipe for the lower half of it. This is this is 12 inch reducer to a 6 inch. You can see where I cut cut the pieces out of it right in this area. This right here is a 6 inch or no I think this is a 12 this is an 8 inch to a 12 inch rubber reducer. This is the 12 inch pipe, the body of it. Then you move over to this area. This is a 12 inch cap that I cut in half. And you can notice on the side it has latches that pull the cap closed. But I also installed a light to it. Now the cap that I used or the lens that you're looking at, that's off of a swimming pool for the, uh, the strainer and that's how I installed it inside. That's like a million watt or 500,000 500, watt uh, spotlight that I assembled to the inside of it. I made some brackets to hold it in place. On the inside, as you notice, I put a rack system and that's how the battery slid in and out. There's not a battery in there right now. The, uh, the top part of this is basically the uh, structure from a, uh, a BC compensator. I basically cut it in half. That's the top half of it. And then the bottom half was also drilled and tapped and sealed. You can kind of see how I cut it in half. Um, the switches are sealed, the rubber. If you look in the back, what actually produces the power is a trolling motor. You can kind of tell that's a trolling motor inside there. I basically cut the shaft off of it. And if you look, how this thing is sealed from the inside, That's, I believe, a six inch or maybe even a four. And that's a six inch. That's a six inch to a four inch. So the four inch is what's actually holding the motor. And the other, the six inch is what's attached to the inside by a reducer that's attached also to the internal part of the. Uh, 8 inch. So it's, it basically the whole propulsion unit is built from PVC pipe that I picked up at a uh, plumbing department. I mean plumbing supply department. Yeah, there's one switch. I don't really remember which one it is, but one switch is for the motor. And the other switch is for the light, which I spoke about earlier. Which is just a, uh, a cap off of a swimming pool, a pump system. It's transparent from what I remember because if you can you can look in the strainer 
tell whether or not you have to clean it out so it actually worked pretty good in the uh, construction of this underwater propulsion system. So pretty much an overview, it's, it's a 12 inch cap, 12 inch um, body going from a 12 inch down to an 8 inch then an 8 inch back up to a 12 inch I just thought I'd share this with y'all